Clara, and I'm a biology study of the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. With the Darwin 200 program, I'm visiting the Puerto Madre in the Argentina, Patagonia. Our journey begins a few years ago, when Darwin came to Argentina, Patagonia. At that time, this land was occupied by the native Mapuche and Tehuichi people, and the way the people deal with the land is kind of different than now. On his journey, Darwin made some observations about the Earth. There were many different plants and grasses, and not literally so many spiny bushes. And this greatly became less frequent, until a little to the north there is not bushes. And for the time we have studied this beautiful place, something is very different. The way the people use the land. Nowadays, the population is growing so fast. More people, more houses, more water consumption, and other resources. We currently have a worrying scenario for the native vegetation. For example, one of the native plants, the Pikishin, is very slow growing. These shrubs need around 100 years to reach a few meters in height. Each plant has its magic. In addition to your medicinal uses, we can use it in food. Furthermore, animals such as Magellanic penguins need these bushes to protect themselves from local weather conditions and possibly predators. Here we can clearly see how the native plants in these bushes is important for the nature and the animals because here with these eggs are really protecting for the wind or the predators it's a safe place to start a new family because the two eggs here are more protecting if they don't have this little tree actually it's a good way to see how picky hens and other uh, nature plant is important for the protection of the lands and the dunes from the wind. Because here my hair is okay, we no see the wind, but if you up, you see that it's more wind. Other animals depend on its fruits for food. In a hostile environment and with a little available of resources, this native vegetation is all these living beings have. But plants need time and space to grow and develop. Nowadays, native plants, which were so valuable in the past, have to compete with the advancing urbanization. Currently, many people have to cut down this small tree to use its wood as firewood to make food or keep it warm from the cold. And the knowledge about the medicinal values food uses and ecology importance is being lost over the time. With my eyes I can see that all this situation is like a watercolor, an overlay of colors that from the current scenario. But it's a problem since on time, we still have time to do something. It's necessary for us to understand the importance of and fight for native vegetation. Each of these colors are mixed together to create Patagonia stories of people, culture, animals and vegetation.